it's a pillow my name is emma and today i am doing a very spontaneous reading vlog i have only ever done daily reading vlogs for a readathon i've never done a reading vlog dedicated to one specific book over a period of time and i'm 100 overthinking this but like just be patient with me because i don't understand how this works it is 12 15 in the morning and i am currently reading Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer, which is the sequel to Renegades. And I was just like, why not start a reading vlog? <laughs> Actually, I did plan on filming a reading vlog for Arch Enemies from like start to finish when I first got the arc. But when I started the book yesterday, I only got like five pages in and I started it in my therapist's office. So I didn't start a vlog. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't start the vlog before I started reading the first five pages of the book. I can't make a reading vlog now. So I have not been filming while I've been reading for the past 24 hours, but I've just been so invested in this book that I read a hundred pages of it in a day, which is like a lot for me. I'm already like a fifth of the way through the book and I like didn't start the reading vlog. So I don't know why I thought now was the right time, but here we are. Now listen, I thought that I was a pretty big Renegade fan when I first read the book back in January, but this past reread I did this September, like multiply that by like a thousand. I feel like I am in 2014 Emma loving the Mortal Instruments mode, like that is how addicted I am to this series. I just have so many things that I want to talk about, but I do have a full spoiler filled review of Renegades that I recently posted if you want to check it out. So you can go over there and we can discuss our thoughts on Renegades and then you can come along with me as I read the highly anticipated sequel. So I guess now I have to sum up my thoughts on the first hundred pages of Arch Enemies because I am really good at updating this reading vlog thing. Um, it is so amazing. Oh my god. Like I knew I was gonna love Arch Enemies but I am so captivated from the very beginning. I'm just like blown away with how phenomenal it is. Phenomenal it is. Uh, if anyone wants to let me know what I just said, because I have no idea. It's so captivating. Oh my god. And there is just already so much expansion on the world and the storyline of Renegades already in just the first tiny bit of this book. And it's blowing my mind. But yeah, Arch Enemies is just, it's dope. That's like the only word I want to use to describe it is it's dope. Renegades is such a political story and even just in this like tiny bit that I've read there are already so many more conflicts introduced so many more questions about who is doing the right thing who do we have to side with I personally love political intrigue in books but this is definitely like the right amount that doesn't weigh the book down to the point where it feels so dense but it is just really wonderfully constructed and I'm rambling and I don't care because I love this book so much already so yeah it's like 12 30 and I have an off day tomorrow so I got nothing to do i have nothing to get up for so i'm gonna read i'm gonna keep reading I really don't know how this one book reading vlog thing works. Like, do I put in B-roll footage of me reading? Is it just my updates? I don't know what I am doing. Sorry, the intro is like a mini video within itself. I'm totally overcompensating for not starting the vlog on time. But while I was in the middle of reading tonight, I was just like so consumed with my love of Renegades. I was just so freaking impressed with Marissa Meyer for a moment that I sent Doug this really funny voice message. There's a plane going overhead. Hold on. <laughs> You have to read Renegades. It's so good. I am reading book two now and I'm 108 pages in. I read most of this today. I think I was on like page six yesterday. But like, oh my God, Doug, it's so good. You would love it so much. Please, 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 please read it. Accurate representation of me trying to get Doug to read any book, but especially Renegades. I'm gonna assume I should probably do some actual reading. I shouldn't be able to be up this late filming. All right, it's currently like 1.15 in the morning. I've been reading for almost an hour and I'm so tired, but all I wanna do is keep reading. Everything about this book is flawless. Honestly, the only one thing that I have to say about this book is Nova is being so obvious about her mission. Literally, all I care about right now is our enemies. And I'm so lucky that I have an off day tomorrow so I can probably squeeze in a lot of reading time. 
but I know I'm just gonna want to neglect all responsibilities and my homework and the gym and everything tomorrow to read Arch Enemies because I literally just can't remember the last time I was so invested in a book reading it for the first time. It's amazing and I can't wait to read more tomorrow. I'm so sad that I have to go to bed but I'm getting tired um, and it's time to set it down but I love it. I'm so happy I'm reading it. It is currently the next morning or technically afternoon because it's like two o'clock. I have been reading more of Arch Enemies. I am now 200 pages in and it's still just so amazing. I said already that I just love the political arc in this story. I think it transcends everything that we know from Renegades and just adds a lot more ethical problems and just intriguing conversations around like what is the purpose of this governing body what are the extent of their power over people it's really really fascinating i mentioned this in my renegades review but i just love the gender role reversal nature of adrian and nova's relationship there's a lot of really good examples of this all throughout Renegades thus far, but I'm at this particular scene where the training team is practicing with guns and Nova is clearly the most skilled at weaponry. So she's teaching Adrian how to shoot a gun and it is just that like stereotypical where one partner like puts their arms around the other and is showing them how to use a weapon, but like it's Nova doing it to Adrian instead of the stereotypical like man doing it to a woman. I love it! It's so good. Good. All I want to do is just finish Arch Enemies today, but I have schoolwork and other things that I have to do, but like, oh my god, it's all I'm thinking about. It's amazing, and I'm just so happy I'm vlogging this, and then I'm going to have to edit myself saying this is amazing. I love this so much 20,000 times, but like, whatever. It's fine. It's great. I love it. So I have to leave for work in like 10 minutes, and I figured it would be a good idea to do a little Arch Enemies update while doing my makeup. I stayed up until like 2 a.m. reading again. This is not typical for me. I like never stay up past my bedtime to read anymore. Um, so it's been a really cool experience to do that again because I'm just so in love with Arch Enemies. I am now 268 pages in, which means I am more than halfway through and that is terrifying. Number one, because like I don't want the story to end. I wanna keep reading it forever. And number two, what if my faves get into trouble? But I did have a little epiphany last night and I realized I think at this point I do prefer Renegades to Arch Enemies. The reason I say I feel I prefer Renegades is just specifically because Renegades is more action packed. I've said this before, but Arch Enemies is very, very political. There's a lot of plotting and scheming, reveals of new information, and characters have to react to that. And that's not a bad thing in literature. That's great. I love it. I just do have a preference for like action-packed scenes and super big plot twists. And that's not something I've encountered a lot of at the moment. That being said, I can totally feel some big things a coming. It is not going to be this pace for the entirety of the story. There's going to be some action coming up, some really, really big reveals and plot twists. I can just feel it and I'm so excited for it. So yeah, I think as of now, I prefer Renegades, but there's nothing wrong with preferring one book over another in a series. It doesn't mean there's necessarily anything worse about one of the two books. It just means you like it more. And so I just, I like Renegades more at the moment, but that doesn't take away from the great, great value of Arch Enemies. Like, Man, I'm impressed. I love reading a YA book and not just enjoying it, but truly being impressed by the author's talent. It's a really wonderful experience. I'm sorry if this reading vlog hasn't been very great. I haven't been doing a lot. I've literally just been like updating you guys on what I've read and my feelings, which like I know is like the bare bones of reading vlogs that I feel like I need to do more and I've just just been reading here and there so there's nothing interesting happening other than what's happening in the book so yeah i have work today which means i'm not sure how much reading of arch enemies i'll get done because i can only really read on my lunch break today um but i'm gonna try and sneak in some more reading this afternoon so yeah i have just been having such a great time reading arch enemies i feel like i haven't had this experience with like a new to me series since like vampire academy when I first read the Mortal Instruments, like it's that intense and I don't get feelings like that very often. I read a lot of books that I love, 
but there's just something about renegades that is so special to me that i love um and so getting a new installment in the series for the first time has just been really really exciting so i'm currently at the gym and the like workout room is free so i'm going to read a little bit more of arch enemies while i do my post-workout stress and i'm so excited i love reading at the gym i love just being in this room because it's always so quiet and dark and very rarely people come in but like people might come in while i'm stretching but i'm so excited <laughs> ready to finish this book guys i'm so not ready i'm so like stressed and upset right now because i genuinely don't want this book to end i just i've been so consumed by all things renegades for the last few months because i've been preparing for arch enemies and i've been doing videos and stuff and the thought of like not having it in my life every day like it has been is really scary i'm also just so frustrated because like it's at the point where i'm like I don't want Nova to live this double life anymore. Like I want her to just be open and happy, but like that obviously can't happen. <laughs> also, I obviously don't want her to like sacrifice her values and everything she's been working for just cause she likes a boy. <laughs> you know, I, I really believe in a lot of what Nova's message is in the story and I don't want her to be like, sorry, I want to be just a renegade now. Bye anarchists. <laughs> So I'm conflicted, I'm upset, I'm scared out of my mind, but I'm, I'm probably finishing Arch Enemies today and I'm just not ready. So I just finished Arch Enemies and this is what I look like. Um, so it's over, I, I finished, the, the book is completed. I am so emotional, I have so many feelings. My chest is so tight right now because so many things happened in the last like 30 pages of this book and I have no answers. So Arch Enemies was amazing. I genuinely don't know how to move forward with my life from this point on. Oh my God, absolutely nothing ended the way I expected it to and everything is just so much bigger and worse than I could have possibly imagined. I don't really know how to end this vlog because all I want to do is just gush all the spoilers <laughs> and I obviously can't but I will when I do post my Arch Enemies review because it is coming. So yeah, um, just overall Arch Enemies was a roller coaster. I'm so happy with it. I'm so so pleased even though like this story <laughs> did not end the way I expected it to um, and I I'm actually very unsatisfied with the ending strictly because I don't have the next installment but overall it's just amazing I'm really impressed I never expected this world and this story to get as big as it is but just man was it wild that really concludes this vlog so i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want me to do more reading vlogs for like new releases that i'm very excited about because i had so much fun doing this one ah arch enemies is amazing it's out at this point and you can go buy it or get it from your local library and just experience all of the feelings i have just experienced over the last few days it's truly like such a spectacular series and I can't wait to gush about all of my notes on this book in my review which will be coming soon so definitely make sure you're caught up on the series by then so that we can discuss it but that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video bye